Good morning. So let us begin our Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And your dear spirit. And let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, eternal health of believers, Hear our prayers for your servants who are sick. Grant them, we implore you, your merciful help, so that with health restored, they may give you thanks in the midst of your church. And this we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt? to die in this desert where there is no food or water. We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Sarah serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Son, O Lord, hear my prayer and let your cry come to you. O Lord, o Lord, hear my prayer, prayer and let, let my, my cry come, come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, o Lord hear my prayer, prayer and let, let my, my cry come, come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, O Lord, hear my prayer, let my cry come to you. Let this be return for generations to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those doomed to die. O oh Lord, Lord, hear my prayer and let, let my cry come, come to you.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he is not going to he is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, you belong to what is below, I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, I do not belong to this world. This is why I told you, you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation, but the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They do not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me, he has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke in this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. In today's readings, um, <clears throat> we have from the Old Testament the symbol of the serpent, the seraph and the healing power uh, uh, of the, of the uh, image of the serpent when the people uh, were, bit, were getting bitten by the serpents because they were in disobedience to the Father. They were complaining. Jesus takes that same image and applies it to the cross. Uh, and the cross uh, is the, if you want, uh, what the serpent uh, uh, was doing. Uh, the serpent was healing. The cross uh, is the healing image in our faith. In the same way that the people uh, of the Old Testament had to realize that uh, it wasn't the image of the serpent, but the power of God that was saving them. We too, when we are in difficulty and we look upon the cross and understand what the cross actually means and what Jesus did for us, that brings us the healing in our different, uh, in our different circumstances in our life, whether we are suffering or whatever we are, uh, what is afflicting us, that the serpent, uh, and what the cross calls us to uh, put more trust in, in God and realize that just as he suffered for us, we are, uh, in, with our sufferings, participating in what uh, he, was, he did and what we are doing with him. At the same time, it brings us into the realization of what it took to save us, the uh, not only uh, the arguments or the uh, miracles that Jesus did, but the inner workings of Jesus, what Jesus had to uh, submit himself to. John, uh, in this particular gospel, uh, uses the phrase, I am, which is the, uh, the name of God, the definition of God that we have. We don't have much more. So that in explaining the nature of God, we say uh, that God is, I am. 
And when we realize what that means, then we are brought into God's presence and uh, we can understand and with his help uh, pass under or uh, pass through the things that we are called to suffer or what uh, is causing us problems. Uh, so that's what John wants us to reflect on, uh, not only an image of the cross, but what the, the power of the cross and why it is uh, so powerful in our lives. Let us raise all our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. Let the baptized may live according to the ways revealed from above, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who prepare for the Easter sacraments may look eagerly for Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people may be delivered from the powers that corrupt creation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who seek wisdom may attend to the truth that comes from heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may turn away from sin and do what is pleasing to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the departed soul of Roberto Morales, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may follow where Christ has gone, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering from coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us silently pray for our own personal intentions. Let us together pray for the last let prayer for vocations. God, our Father, Father we, we give you thanks for calling us to embrace the gift of life and to share it. As once through Jesus Christ, you chose the first disciples to proclaim the good news and pour out your spirit upon the church. Renew us now in our vocation and our mission of reconciliation. Let the same call echo in the heart of many young persons that they may generously respond to the needs of our brothers and sisters. After the example of Mary, the beautiful Lady of Lazarus, inspiring men and women of our time, who deserve to be light and salt in the church and the world. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of your hands, hands for the, the praise and glory of his, of his name, name for our, our good and the good of the church. Since the moments of our life unfold, O God, according to your good pleasure, receive the prayers and sacrificial offerings by which we implore your mercy for our brothers and sisters who are ill, that having been anxious for them and their danger, we may rejoice at, in their at their recovery of health. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received the heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty uh, since by the wondrous power of the cross your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ uh, of and the authority of Christ crucified and so Lord with all the angels and saints we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord of hosts, heaven and earth, earth of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the friends of Pope John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who are in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. How merciful us all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be who is and alive, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together, the prayer that Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracely grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all the stress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and, gr and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Who take Amen. away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper, to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the, the word, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. pray. O God, only support of our human weakness, show the power of your protection over your servants who are sick, that sustained by your merciful help, they may be restored to your holy church in good health. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Under the Spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks, Peter God.